Welcome to another Concept Art Masters tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do the basic clouds. Always use images as a reference for color and shapes. Um, here I'm using the regular brush found in Photoshop CS5 but I'm sure that uh, earlier versions also have them. And uh, remember when you're painting clouds you always want to do those uh, massaging circular, semi-circular motions. Um, as if you were uh, washing dishes or something like that, but and uh, to create the f fluffiness of the cloud. First, what I do is kind of outline of a cloud that I want, kind of similar to the one in an image, and then I'll, I will increase the size like here and then fill it in. Then I will reduce the size of a brush again and uh, continue with those semicircular clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, circles to achieve the, the fluffiness of a cloud. Remember that um, you can compare the clouds to foam. I think always it's always helpful actually to me when I can compare uh, in my head new images, I mean new images that I want to yeah, paint new objects to something that I'm al already familiar with and that helps me a lot. So in this case, kind of like a foam or something. See, I'm creating those. Going kind of semi-circle to the right. Fluffiness. And uh, what I want you to remember here uh, is when you paint clouds is that always the upper part of the clouds are going to be sharp and the bottom are always uh, blending, blur blurred out. So that's kind of the major point when painting clouds. And you will see that uh, once I start adding, adding color, how I'm gonna uh, blur out the bottom parts, but always keep the upper part sharp. See, I'm blocking in kind of basic colors that I color picked from the image. It doesn't image doesn't have to be exactly the same as the uh, photograph because we are doing artistic expression and not exact photocopy of a photo. And whenever you use photograph, your images will always look uh, unique because nature is, is random. And speaking of random, uh, when painting clouds like this, try to make these pattern, patterns as random as possible. Change them around. Right now, we're going to start uh, using the smudge tool and we're going to be smudging the bottom parts of the, uh, the cloud. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. And it's kind of a general rule that you always uh, smudge out the bottom and keep the upper part sharp. But there will come some areas, will, sometimes, I mean, when you going to smudge the upper part too, you know, just to blend it in a little bit better. But that's the general idea. And um, just practice a lot of it and you're going to get good at it. Color pick, use images as a reference, as I said earlier. And uh, good luck.